Here we have the latest victim on the bike lift in the shape of a Triumph Mountain Cub, Tiger Cub. And um, I'm told it's a matching engine and frame numbers machine. Uh, pretty original really. And it's arrived here as a non-runner. I've not heard it going yet, although the owner tells me that he has had it running. And he wants some electrical work and ignition work doing on it. Um, just to sort of make it... Uh, well, hopefully run a little bit better for him than apparently it has done. So here it is. Um, and this is really just to introduce this machine. I haven't done anything with it yet other than put it on the bike lift. And uh, I'm about to make a start. I thought we'd just have a quick look at it first and discuss it. Uh, these mountain cubs are quite a desirable uh, version of the Tiger Cub. Because they've got the late type engine with the two uh, ball bearings for the uh, crank main bearings, side points, square barrel and head, all the goodies that people like and it's also got, quite rare, they had right at the end a double gusset frame. See how it's got a gusset plate on either side of the headstock rather than just one in the middle and what's known as, what are known as the ultra heavyweight forks which are pretty much the same apart from probably springs and so on inside as what you might find on uh, some of the last uh, 500 and 650 twins so all the good stuff on this one it's actually very similar and would probably feel very similar to ride to um, my trials cub replica I would imagine I think these also came originally with the wide ratio gearbox which is what I've got on the uh, on my trials cub replica as well but uh, anyway I won't waffle on but when it is up and running I'm expecting something very similar uh, to experience as riding my trials cub replica which is over here and we went out on this one yesterday of course but uh, I've got to get it going. There's no alternator at all on it at the moment, the owner tells me. That's just there for show. Uh, what I'm going to do with it is we're going to put a new um, a 12 volt alternator on it. The owner says he's got one, he's going to bring it. So I've got to put that on, reinstate it. And we're going to run a Boyer type um, power box on it. So we get 12 volts straight out of the power box. But I'll probably try and smuggle in a small battery somewhere probably one like I've got on my trials cub replica which in the case of that one I just used some very strong cable ties and fastened it to this frame rail here but uh, I doubt that the owner of this machine will want that even though the battery will be yellow but uh, I'm gonna see if I can perhaps hide one under here because those motorbat batteries it doesn't matter which way up you have them or whether they're on their side or whatever so we might be able to even hide one under the seat somewhere because one of the things the owner wants to keep is this d-shaped air filter which is right where the battery box would normally fit on a triumph tiger cub so uh, he wants to keep that and we're going to run a battery we're going to have to think of somewhere to put it so that's the sort of stuff i'm going to be doing with this one to start with i've already checked there's absolutely no oil in the engine or the tank uh, but there was a little bit of swarf in the bottom of the tank, so I cleaned that out. You nearly always get that. You really, really have to consider the oil tank as being part of the engine. When you change the oil, clean the oil tank out as well, or at least check it and make sure it is clean. Um, that will save tears and wear and tear and sludge traps bunging up later on. Anyway, I've waffled on enough about this one for now. My aim is to hopefully get it running. Uh, apparently it's got a pays on electronic ignition on it as well um, not something I would have chosen to have I'd have stuck with points but there we go but I'm going to try and get it running probably until the alternator turns up if and when that does uh, I'll run it total loss off a 12 volt battery and uh, just see if I can get it set up and timed up and everything and running nicely and then uh, work my way through the details so this one will be joining all the other Tiger Cubs in my Tiger Cub playlist, if anyone's interested.